The Rovers Chat YouTube channel is proudly sponsored by SixYardsOut.com. They've got retro football from every era with mugs, phone cases and much more. They also have plenty of Rovers goods including apparel with the famous 94-95 season and this season's kit. Check them out using the link in the description below. Hello Rovers fans and welcome to our instant reaction video as Rovers winning run, our unbeaten run has come to an end with a fairly disappointing defeat away at Hull City tonight. Um, circumstances meant I couldn't be there tonight. Uh, seems like I dodged a bit of a bullet as it was, you know, one of Rovers' worst performances of the season tonight. Um, so yeah, just capture my thoughts on it. I'm sure loads of people are going to have thoughts. So please hit us up in that comments box with what you thought of the Rovers' performance. Um, obviously before the game, real chance for Rovers to put a bit of pressure on Bournemouth to keep that gap to seventh place nice and big and, you know, keep making that statement for our promotion credentials. But, um, you know, in truth, you know, we did not deserve to win that game and, and hull a full value for that victory, really. Um, the damage was probably done before the game. Um, you know, uh, Lewis Travis not being available for the game tonight. Um, you know, that's a, a big miss for us. It really affected our formation. Tony Mowbray opting to go for that 5-2-3 formation with Reda Kadra in that false nine position and, and Gallagher and Diaz up top. But um, we kind of lost out two ways, didn't we? We lost out Lewis Travis, that important role that he's done this season, breaking up the play, that really ugly stuff that he's managed to do all season. And then it's obviously bringing John Buckley back a little bit deeper as well. And in truth, that... That central midfield in the first half, it was just getting overrun, it didn't work. And and that goal that that Hull scored in the first 10 minutes, you know, it's a big goal. You know, they've got the new owners there today. It gets the crowd fully on board. And, you know, from a formation point of view, it's a poor goal to concede as well. You know, Honeyman is just ghosted into that box. And you just think, you know, with Lewis Travis on the pitch, um, you know, does that goal get scored? He probably follows that run in. So... Um, obviously not a very good start for Rovers and, and that first half was was not a good performance from Rovers. But, you know, the one thing I will say, um, when you are a team that's not playing very well in a game, and we have to say the last four games, it's not been vintage Rovers, not been the best attacking unit from us. The big decisions have to go for you in games and the penalty on Brereton Diaz, you know, it's an absolute stonewall penalty. And if that um, is given and we score that and the game's 1-1 going into half time or whatever, maybe it's going to be a different game. So you need those decisions to go for you tonight. Not fully going to blame the referee, not going to fully blame the decisions. But, you know, when you are playing poorly, you just need the rub of the green to, to maybe bail you out a little bit. Um, you know, if it's not Joe Rothwell scoring a solo goal against Cardiff bailing you out, certainly you need the decisions to go your way just to get you in the game uh, where you've not been... Um, second half, you have to say, first and foremost, it was a good response, but quite surprised that Tony Mowbray didn't opt to change the formation. Clearly, the 5-2-3 wasn't working, so did wonder whether he might switch to a 4-3-3 or just change the personnel up a little bit, and he chose not to do that. But you have to say, the initial response was really good. You know, the, the Rovers fans in that away end absolutely sucking the ball into the net, and you know, it looked like we were going to really stamp our authority over that game, but we just didn't fashion those big chances, did we? We didn't fashion something that was put in Hull under pressure. Yes, we got some corners, but, um, you know, we didn't really create anything big. Um, Hull obviously then grew into the game, and then just another big decision that you need to go for you. Um, you know, McLaughlin, uh, as the cross is put in from the Hull lad, he's got no intention of playing the ball. He's all about playing Kaminsky. He's obviously bumped into Kaminsky, affected him getting that ball. And Tom Eves has, has headed the ball into the net to make it 2-0. And just a word on Tom Eves, you know, um, he's played really well for uh, for Hull tonight. Um, we probably at times made him look a little bit like Ibrahimovic. But, um, you know, defensively poor from our part, just allowing him to, to do the things that he was doing. You know, we've got big defenders that can some that have bossed other um, strikers in the league this season. So I'm not sure why... Uh, we we struggled to deal with Tom Eves tonight because, you know, we've got three big defenders as well. So that was particularly disappointing. Um, and then, yeah, obviously Rovers then, you know, after Hull have gone 2-0 up, you know, we've huffed and puffed. But in truth, you know, as the gaps started to appear in the game, you know, Hull could have had three or four. You know, Kaminsky's made one great save where he's tipped it onto the bar. Hull have missed another chance from a corner. And I think that would have been a particular indictment on this team, you know, 
Hull that haven't scored many this season, second lowest scorers. If they'd scored three or four goals, then um, you know that would have been a, a particularly bad performance. So yeah, not a good one for Rovers tonight in front of the Sky cameras. Um, obviously, this was the rearranged game. We've not got the rub of the green all over. You know, on the Boxing Day game, we're going into that game with a full squad. Hull have postponed the game. We're going into it tonight without the two wing backs, without Lewis Travis, and you know we've struggled. And obviously the new owner tonight as well that just got the crowd up. So circumstances tonight um, have not gone our way. Uh, we haven't got the rub of the green in that sense, and, and obviously we've succumbed to a pretty poor performance, which ends uh, a really impressive run of form. So I think the key now is obviously how we react, and it's going to be a tough set of fixtures that we've got. Middlesbrough at home, Luton away, Swansea away, um, West Brom in that run, QPR, Sheffield United. You know, the next few games are going to be tough for Rovers. So we're going to have to respond quickly um, and no bigger than Middlesbrough. You know, they're a team in form coming to Ewood Park. So Ryan Niambi will obviously be back. Um, hopefully, formation-wise, we can get Lewis Travis back in there as well. But it's just got the feel now that, you know, are Rovers going to be going for automatic promotion or are we... we we're going to be chasing the playoff um, spots with the likes of Middlesbrough. That's what the feel of the game on Monday night's like. But do you know what? Tonight is not a night to overreact. It feels a little bit similar to that League One season when we played Plymouth. Um, I went to that game down at Plymouth. We were 17 games unbeaten, I believe. And, you know, we reserved our worst performance of the season for that game. And after that Plymouth game, we went on a really good run of form after Christmas. So hopefully... We can just do something that's similar to that, where we can just dust ourselves down and go again. It's not a 7-0 defeat at home to Fulham. It's just a little reality check away at Hull after what's been three or four games where we've not been vintage, where Mowbray can maybe just look at it. You know, Brereton Diaz is away for the next couple of games. Mark Hande's coming in. Maybe he might just look to freshen it up a little bit. But, you know, can't argue with the result tonight. Um, fair play to Hull. They played really well. They were up for it. And... Obviously got the early goal and then made life difficult for us. We didn't respond to that and, and I've got no complaints in that sense. But the ref, you know, you know, we did need that help in the first half with that decision. So maybe it might have been a bit of a different outcome if it's 1-1 going into half time. But can't argue with the result in terms of the Rovers performance. So disappointing. Would have been nice to go into the top two. Would have been nice to put that pressure on Bournemouth. But not um to be it so let us know what you think in that comments box how are you feeling are you more angry than i am you know i'm not going to overreact too much you know this squad have done brilliantly over the last few weeks we've had some great performances lots of goals but you know they certainly don't deserve us getting on their back too much so um let us know what you think in that comments box let us know what you think um, and do you fancy Rovers to respond against Middlesbrough on Monday night? Um, please give this video a like. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and let's keep supporting Rovers. Come on, we've been lucky recently. 10 games unbeaten. It had to come to an end sooner rather than later. We go again. This is where support really kicks in. Come on, Rovers. The Rovers Chat YouTube channel is proudly sponsored by SixYardsOut.com. They've got retro football from every era with mugs, phone cases and much more. They also have plenty of Rovers goods, including apparel with the famous 94-95 season and this season's kit. Check them out using the link in the description below.